um, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Lynette. I love to sew and crochet and just create in general and I wanted to make a video to share some of my makes and kind of encourage me to finish things I've started because then I'll think oh I'll finish that and show it on my YouTube channel because it's I get really excited to start something new and then it kind of wanes and then sometimes I never finish it so that's the idea also I'm not very confident at all and the thought of doing this sort of terrifies me but then also the more I do it, I'm hoping it will get easier and it will help me to become a little bit more confident. Um, in general, I'm not comfortable in situations where I have to talk for a long time to people. Um, I get a bit panicky, my mind goes blank, what am I talking about? Um, which I'm sure will happen throughout the course of me making these videos as well, but that's okay because I can just delete them if need be. Um, I love watching other people's podcasts and um, seeing the things people have made and feeling really inspired by them and I suppose I've been thinking for a long time I would love to do that oh I wish I could do that and then maybe maybe I could do that but it's scary and I'm quite sensitive well, I'm very sensitive so I feel I feel like I'm putting myself out there to be maybe any negativity that might come from it and I'd be sad and upset <laughs> so please be nice um, yeah so a bit more about me I am married I have a daughter who's 21 and two cats Holly and Thorn Thorn is cuddly Holly isn't but she meows a lot so she may appear in the background in some of my videos in the future. Thorn won't because he just sleeps all day. Um, I also have two chickens, phantoms, which are small breed chickens, and they are Pekins, which are cute and small with a little fluffy ball tail, like a fluffy tail, and they're also frizzle feathered, so they have the gene where their feathers go in the opposite direction to a normal feather, so they all look a bit fluffy and spiky at the time. They're really cute. Um, so they're quite small. I've just started laying eggs the last couple of weeks and the eggs are small too. About this big. Um, so I can't think of anything else to say about myself. I'm that interesting. Um, I will be aiming to show things that I've made. Uh, things I'm in the process of making, things probably from 15 years ago that I started about I've never finished. And I hope it will motivate me to finish some of the things I've started making. Because I'm sure myself, like other crafters, it's sometimes it's just the excitement of starting a new project and it's the thrill of, oh yeah, I love this, it's amazing, this is the best thing in the world, I'm obsessed with it. And then you start it and think, you still love it, but something else comes along and you think, oh, I love this now, I'm obsessed with this, I'm obsessed with this. Uh, that's how I am anyway. Uh, so yes, um, that's the idea. And I don't have anybody who I know in the flesh as such who makes things. So it's just nice to talk about it. And I do talk about it with my family. My husband is, he's really lovely actually I'll show him some a doll I've made and he'll go oh it's really good well done and, but I feel there's only so long I can talk to him about things and I kind of want to go on and on and on about them um, um my sister makes me laugh I'll show her something I've made again just a doll as an example so well what are you going to do with it now why did you make that not being mean just confused really puzzled um and I'll think well well, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. I just like making it. I did set up, I have a little Etsy shop and sometimes if I make lots of one thing, I will pop it on there, but it's not It's not a big thing. I have hardly any sales. If I have sold anything I've made, it's mainly been to people who know me, friends of a friend, and they've mainly been bags, 
project bags um, and I also have made sea glass jewellery so I, that's another thing the video will be about a little bit of beach beach combing um, I love to walk along the beach with my husband and we just find so much sea glass in fact I'll show you I have so much this is one bowl full we have loads just, it's just beautiful all different sizes colours I'm not showing it very well am I? So I occasionally make a little bit of jewellery with those, some of the prettier, nicer colours. This is unusual. This is a really turquoisey blue, which we don't tend to find um, in our area. So that I'll do a little bit of videoing about that, maybe some on the beach and some of the things I've made. I live in Suffolk, which is on the east coast of, can you hear my mug? East coast of England, UK, um, and we are within walking distance of the beach, which is lovely. And I love living on the coast. I always live near the beach. I can't imagine living in the middle of somewhere and not having that nice edge bit. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me feel free. Um, being so close to the sea and the beach, and it's just I love it when it's rough. When the sea is really rough and windy even raining it just relaxes me it has the opposite effect somehow it like just crashing all around me i just absolutely love it um i'm gonna take a break now because i've never spoken this much before in one section by myself i'm just going to go through show you a few things that i have made recently i guess this is as this is my first video i have a massive back catalogue <laughs> but these are my recent ish makes so I will start with English paper piecing so this is a, a bag I made drawstring top isn't it satisfying doing that could do that all day and for the, the I've used linen Okay. I've used Linen and Liberty of London fabric and the green in the middle is a piece of sea glass that I found on the beach and I've drilled a hole in the middle and just embroidered it on because I really wanted to use my sea glass that I find in with my sewing somehow rather than just making jewellery with it and that was the only way I could think of using it. I think it looks nice, I'm pleased with it. So yeah, just a small bag. It's just a straightforward um, drawstring bag, fairly quick to make. But there's that, and I made another one. Zip top pouch, same method, English paper piecing, patchworky design with seagrass in the middle. That is a lovely piece, really nice colour. And I've also used, I've made a charm for the top. Out of sea glass as well. Happy with that as well. Turned out nice. And I, I like making toys as well. I don't make clothes at all. I don't sew clothes. I mean, I might change clothes, like make them to fit or something, but I don't. Um, I don't make them from scratch. I've tried, but I'm too impatient. I like making things that I can make fairly quick. So, dolls' clothes. I'm okay with those. This is a pattern by Studio Seren. Hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Um, she makes a few animal patterns and they are all just beautiful this was the cat i have a deer to make next which is cut up on my table there which i'm going to start in a minute um the dress the cat and the bow all 
part of the pattern. She has an Etsy shop. Um, she might have a website as well, I'm not sure. And I just made up the bag, it's just a general, a quick little bag, awkward bag pattern. Not a pattern, a bag, I just made it up. Bag and take that back. Yeah, it's a lovely pattern, really nice, straightforward to follow, loads of instructions. Um, and it's turned out super cute. She was supposed to have whiskers and I wasn't sure. Now I'm thinking I should have put whiskers on, I don't know. But anyway, she's adorable. And I'm looking forward to making the deer. And with each animal, you get different outfits. But the outfits fit all the animals. So I can... I'm going to get a few more patterns from her, I think. And then I'll have... I can make more different outfits for them. Yeah, so there she is. I've called her Gloria. I also like... Um, cool crafting. I've made a few of their. I haven't got them here, but I, have, I made a few of their Luna Lapin and the mouse Wilhelmina, I think her name is. And she now has a frog, Gracie the frog, who I'm not sure whether to get or not. I'm thinking maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll use this YouTube channel as an excuse to buy her because I can make her and show her on my channel. I don't know, but she's cute. I want to make her. I think. And I have, I've got my linen here to make the deer, which is next. I don't know what I'm going to make the outfit with yet, but I've got, I love linen. It's so nice to work with. So I've got those two colours, dewy, dewish colours. And I have got my toft. I love toft. Most of my crocheting is Toft related, or granny squares, blankets, but I've made a few blankets and I'm a bit bored with them, so I probably won't make any more. But I am making Rosalind the the veined white butterfly, but mine isn't going to be white, she probably will be veined, because I wanted to use the brighter, brighter sort of wool for her really, so let me see if I can find a photo of her. I don't know. This is just a photocopy, so it's not a great picture. But that is what she will look like, hopefully. I've made quite a lot of toft um, things in the past, so I will maybe show some of them in my next episode if I make another one. This could be terrible and never sees the light of day, and then I won't. But if I make any more, then I will. Um, show you them and this is the this is the beginning of her I've used excuse me I've got really fat fun thumbs look I was called alien thumbs at school they look a bit like big toes I don't know why so anyway there's the wool yarn people call it yarn now not wool It's glittery. I got it from the East Anglian Yarn Festival a few months ago, but I can't remember who from, I'm afraid. So I did get another one as well, which was also glittery. Really pretty. So I think I'll use that for the butterfly as well. So I will be working on her in the next week or so, Let's see how she goes. So that's that. I think that's it for things to show you because this video might be terrible. I don't want to go on for hours, really. Um, if you've watched this far, thank you so much. I'm sure it's been really awkward and I apologise. And maybe they will be less awkward if I make more. Maybe they'll carry on being awkward. Maybe there's a space on YouTube for really awkward YouTube people talking about the things they've made. I don't know. Anyway, if you have watch this far. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye.